when there was a short uh, period of um, a right wing or a centre government, they were only for for uh, one period, and then they the social democrats came back. And I can't explain why they didn't like this idea so much, but uh, uh, there are funny stories, ideas about bombing uh, Bonjour and so on. And yeah. uh, well, now we know a little about political history of Sweden. Uh, I think that our time might be running out soon. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, one uh, special detail about the Radio Nord operation: you used aircraft in uh, the production of it. Can you explain how it worked to transfer material to the ship? Yes. In, in, in practice, it was very, very simple. But um, uh, if I'm going to explain it, it may sound complicated. But uh, the idea was to um, transport the tapes out uh, with a small airplane, a four-seat airplane, uh, and uh, uh, the, the tapes were packed together with the, the latest uh, newspapers and uh, letters to the crew and so on in a, a watertight uh, metal container and that was put in the plane. The plane flew out to the, uh, to the boat. The boat or the ship had um, a, a line thrown into the water and that floated away out from the ship of course and the plane uh, went down to uh, a very small altitude, 10 feet or something like that. Um, you had um, uh, the baggage door um, uh, removed, you put your feet uh, or foot on, on the container and threw it out and that had the line and the, 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 the container line crossed the line from the ship and then on the ship you took uh, it aboard, very simple and it functioned all, uh, almost uh, all, uh, every time. As I know, one container got lost. Maybe it was found in, in, uh, on the other side, on the eastern side of the Baltic. Well, so I just got told that we got five minutes to go. Uh, could you tell us about the general atmosphere on board the ship? What was it like? Was it a stressful job, or what do you think? Not in my time. I was there uh, when, when uh, the going was very good. Uh, of course, uh, as I said, the money didn't uh, come in in, in uh, uh, that great uh, amount that uh, everyone hoped for. Uh, instead, a lot of the advertising spots were paid by uh, barter. Uh, you understand the the, uh, the office uh, in Stockholm was filled. Uh, the, the corridors in in the office uh, were filled with. Uh, refrigerators and uh, washing machines and so on which were uh, exchanged for 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 um, for the spots uh, but uh, we were not very stressed on the ship i have uh, very lovely memories from from uh, the uh, long spring of 1961 uh, later that was of course changed and uh, my colleagues working uh, on the, the, the following spring, in the spring of 62, before the station uh, closed down, they really had to do, uh, as I have said several times, everything. News, disc jockeys, playing records, uh, even uh, maintaining the ship itself. Mm. Uh, was there any special sort of problems you encountered when you were aboard? Anything that uh, happened? Can Many things happened, but uh, are you discussing uh, no, no, something? No, no, nothing special, but uh, I mean, it was, uh, sounds like it was uh, pretty quiet, pretty calm mm -hmm. out there. Oh, yes. One thing I learned is that uh, the seascape can change more almost than a landscape can <coughs> with the weather. Smooth. Uh, surface on the water and stormy weather. Very nice yeah. experience. Right. Well, then we have uh, heard a little about experiences from Radio Nord. Uh,